how much money you can earn as a data scientist depends on three factors first is your own skill set and your experience location and the company that is hiring you based on these three factors we are going to look into how much money you can earn as of january 2020 you can go to google and type in glass door salaries this is the platform we are going to use to track the salaries now if you don't know how Glassdoor works, people come to this platform, they register their profile and they post their own salaries. So the salaries that this is giving, they are like real. Okay, so here I can say, okay, I'm looking for a data scientist salary, let's say in Bangalore, India. On average, data scientists get close to 12 lakh rupees per year. This is an average across different companies they they had 401 salaries posted on the website and they just average them out there are salaries based on companies as well for example mu sigma is offering 5 lakh 73 thousand rupees on average okay and that's based on 31 salaries that they had you can also click here and sort those salaries and you will find that there is this company called Cluster which offers 52 lakh rupees. That's pretty big. You can see this salary question is actually hard to answer because the range is so huge. It depends your own experience, your performance in the interview. That is the fourth factor which I didn't mention. So other than location, experience and the company, it also depends upon the performance in interview. Usually when they are hiring data scientists, they have certain range in mind and based on your performance, they can add or subtract delta in that range. Adobe is offering 14 lakh to 50 lakh. So you see the range is pretty high here. Ola is offering 29 lakh rupees. This platform is really good because when you click on a particular position or a salary, it will give you all the statistics about this company. For example, Ola, Average pay uh, is like 32 lakh rupees, okay? And it also shows the range here and your cash bonus and stock options, etc. You can also see like a company pictures, etc. just in case you want to get an idea on the facilities. And this gives you some idea on uh, where you are going to work at, you know? And it's important because like when you change a job, don't, don't just change for the sake of it you when you change a job you want to stay there for a few years so you have to make an informed decision another one we have here is data scientist in walmart they offer 25 lakh rupees per annum then there is flipkart as well who offer close to 20 lakh rupees and when you go here you can look at the min max and average pay etc they sometimes uh, specify other benefits as well and of course the uh, company pictures. Now I'm going to look at data scientist salary in New York. Here it says it's around $106,000 a year, which is decent, okay? And there also there is a range and it really depends upon the company. So here when I sort this by salary and look at some of the high paying jobs, I find that Evandel, if you they hire you as a director of data scientists, you make two hundred and twenty one thousand dollars, which is pretty good in New York. Data scientist in Huffington Post is making around one hundred and seventy seven to one hundred and ninety one thousand dollars a year. You can explore this uh, platform uh, for yourself to get an idea on different cities uh, on how much a data scientist is making whatever i'm telling you is valid as of january 2020 it's gonna of course change in the future so in future if you want to track the salaries yourself you can use this platform glassdoor there is other platform called payscale okay so you can search for payscale data scientist salary and then they also have some information so you can just log in and they will uh, tell you the salaries etc now let's look at what is involved in this data scientist role so for example i'm gonna search for facebook data scientist new york job that gives me this linked in uh, link for data scientist job in new york and here it will tell you what kind of responsibilities they are expecting 
so you can read through this responsibilities also they expect these kind of skill set for example two plus years of experience doing quantitative analysis ba bs in computer science math physics engineering although they specify this even if you don't have bachelor's in let's say all this mentioned field let's say you are bachelor in chemistry you can still become a data scientist you need to have some good experience uh, you can um, work on some cool projects you can participate in kegel competition and you can include all that information in your resume a good resume will have some kegel competition some good github project links and based on that also companies are hiring they are very open nowadays and you don't need to strictly have all these skills okay as long as you can demonstrate some work and experience on your resume uh, you will get an interview and then after it all depends upon your performance in that interview they ask for sql some knowledge of sql of course python r language knowledge is important when I search for Amazon data scientist jobs in India, I found few jobs on LinkedIn and here also they have a description on what they expect. For example, in Bangalore, they have this position open where uh, they expect these kind of qualification, bachelor degree in statistics, math, operational research, etc. If you have experience in uh, modeling software such as Spark and R, it's useful. Python, of course, is absolutely essential. Scikit-learn, Pandas, you know, for analyzing and modeling data helps all the time. SQL knowledge is a plus. Verbal and written communication is extremely important, something that you should never ignore. You can go through all this job description and kind of get a feel on what employers are looking for. So that was a talk about salaried employees, but what if you want to do freelancing? So one of the popular platforms for freelancing is Upwork.com. On Upwork.com, when you search for a data scientist here, it will give you a different rates for how much uh, data scientists are charging. For example, here, this particular person is charging $120 an hour. And here it will show the credential, what kind of project this person has worked on. She has completed 12 jobs, more than $10,000 she has on. And these are project specific uh, statistics. Let's look at some other freelancers. So here, there's this freelancer called Shankar in Edison, New Jersey. As a freelancer, they uh, mention their experience, their skill set, what is unique about them. And based on that, uh, some companies, they hire freelancers from Upwork.com for doing some one-time work. So for example, he did this $500 project and got five-star rating. There are some data scientists who charge really high, for example, $180 see now these people will have some unique skills he has 98 percent job success so really high rating based in San Jose CA on more than $60,000 etc so try exploring this platform let's look at some of the freelancer in India as well so here you can go to filters and in location, let's say I type in India and I find uh, people working at $15 an hour rate. For example, Ankit here is working for $15 an hour. Uh, one of the good things being a freelancer is you can work from your home, okay? You don't need to go to these big towns, especially in India. Uh, living in Bangalore, Pune, big cities is, is a hassle. It's um, a lot of cost. Cost of living is high, a lot of traffic, all kind of problems, okay? So if you can become a freelancer, that's even better because you can work from your home, you can have flexibility, all right? So just explore for yourself, just to know what's going on in the market and how much freelancers are earning. Now friends, don't just join a company for the sake of money. One common mistake that everyone makes is they just look at money and ignore other factors. There are many other factors which are important such as number one is look at what you are learning in your job you have to visualize yourself after five years what you want to become after five years and does doing this job uh, help you make go closer toward your goal every single day so every single day you should be learning right like when you come back from job 
you should retrospect and you should think about what you learned today your job should be such that you should be looking forward mondays and not looking for weekends i work for this company called bloomberg lp which is a financial data provider and mike bloomberg who is the founder of this company wrote a book and in his book he has a chapter called looking for mondays you know usually as an employees everyone is looking for weekends uh, but if you think about it on weekends you are not doing really anything productive of course spending time with family is important i agree with that but other than that you are probably enjoying you are taking rest and all that but monday has a special meaning where you can go out in the world and you can make a difference in the world right so monday is very important so the job that you're looking for it should be such that it gets you excited about mondays also when you are looking for a job and applying for uh, an interview you should try to connect with someone who is already working in that firm through linkedin or through other mediums talking to someone who is already working at that company is very very beneficial he will tell you the ground reality when you talk to a recruiter or hr they are going to paint a rosy picture of course listen to them but having a conversation with someone who is already working in that particular role in that company is definitely beneficial one other factor is domain you should or uh, try to pick one domain and get an expertise in it so for example you are looking at finance then try to work in finance do- domain for good time period so that you can get some understanding on that domain being a data scientist doesn't mean that you know python or r and some statistical model knowing domain is even more important companies will hire you at a higher salary if you have a nice mix of domain and business expertise as well as some technical background considering other perks are also important such as if your company is offering flexible work hours what kind of medical benefits they are providing do they provide working from home cultural activities are also important there are some companies which will sponsor you to attend conferences okay so that is very important they look into your overall development they don't want to grow you just as a programmer but they want to grow you as a good communicator a person who can present well who can tell a good story so all these soft skills are very very important even if you have to do let's say little compromise on your salary and by doing that compromise let's say you are learning other soft skills then you should let go money because money is something that will follow you if you have an expertise into certain field right so initial few years of your career or i would say most of your career you should be looking forward on learning new things right so when you make yourself an expert the world has become such that money will chase you so you shouldn't be chasing money but you should be transforming yourself in a way that money starts chasing you now we are going to do some thought activity i want all of you to retrospect on what you achieved in last one quarter what are the things that you learn and what are the milestones that you achieved like did you complete any kegel competition did you learn new concept did you find a new job did you successfully complete a big project etc so reflect on last quarter and post your achievements as well as uh, let's discuss what you want to do in this year 2020 2020 just started you must have taken some resolution so please share with me in a video comment below what are your resolutions because when you share your resolutions with other people with your friends family uh, what happens is it kind of gives you motivation on achieving uh, those resolutions so if you don't want to even post in a video comment below you can just share with your friends that okay this is the resolution i have taken and after you discuss with someone it will kind of put this kind of you know a pressure on you in a positive way so that you want to work diligently in achieving that goal let's do that today thank you for watching the video